everyone, it's Juliana and I'm here to share with you guys a really special mini album that I made for my mom for Mother's Day. And as you guys saw in the picture, I created a mini album for her and um, I did use a bunch of beautiful flowers from I Am Roses and uh, also this chipboard mini album by Bo Bunny. So the album itself spells mom and I really love that so when I saw that the chipboard mini I knew I had to make a mini album for my mom so the paper collection that I use for the mini album is by Melissa Francis and I did use the vintage treasures attic volume 3 and also some other pages from Melissa Francis so this is the album as you can see it's pretty large and um, I did add a lot of sentiment to this mini just because I love my mom and this is the first mini album that I create for her. So let me walk it with you guys and show you what I did. So the binding itself on the mini, it already came with the little hole. So all I did is I just bind it using some vintage fabric. So there's three little bows right there on the side. And this is the front page of the mini, which it has the spells the letter M, as you can see there. So all I did is added the paper collection, and I also um, distressed it on the edges as well. So that's what that looks like. Now this is a fabric flower that I made, and I just used some ruffle trims and also some crochet trim. And I added this piece of jewelry here that I had found at one of my flea markets. It's really gorgeous, and I also added some ruffles because I love to add ruffles to my flowers. So there's that one, and then I added a piece of vintage lace. Um, I'm sorry, doily. And then I used this beautiful paper rose here by I Am Roses. And then also this um, gardenia flower here too by I Am Roses. And I also used some of the Lindy Stinkin sprays to color some of my flowers. Um, over here on the top, there's another gardenia flower and just some beaded trim with some vintage lace. So I did use a lot of vintage laces um, into this mini album. So the mini, the first page opens up like this. And um, what I did here to the back of the chipboard is I just painted it with a really brown metallic paint onto the bottom. And over here I added this lace, uh, I'm sorry, I added this doily here, and then this little die cut that I cut out from the paper collection. And this album has a bunch of um, sentiments for my mom. So it's pretty much like a thank you mini album for her. And this one says, thank you for giving me the most wonderful and precious gift, mom. Thank you for giving me life. So that's a little message for her. And in here I added some trim from Sack Crafters really love it and then this is my favorite page ever because this page here is the O for mom and it had this circle here and I thought it would be really nice to add a picture of her um, into the circle there so that's what I did and this picture was taken in Hawaii she went to Hawaii with my dad and really loved it and my mom is really young you guys because she had me when she was very young and I absolutely love that so um, this what I did here is I added some pearl trim and um, I got this one at the flea market and then some really light lace that I had so I kind of created a little shabby cheek frame and I totally love that and then here I added some um, vintage doilies pieces I created a little bow using some seam binding and also added this beautiful paper rose by I Am Roses so that's the frame there and over here on the top I had these little squares that I found on my vintage store and so I cut it in half and I created a little background for this letters here that says beautiful because that's what she is to me and so I added that here on the top and then um, on the left side here I added some bling and then some gorgeous I Am Roses flowers. So this is a light baby pink gardenia that I used. 
and also some little baby roses uh, leaves here and here. Um, I also added some crochet pieces and this beautiful bin, uh, one of those cameos, the 99 cents cameos. So added that one there. And then in here, just some more of the beaded trim and more of the doily. So that's that one page there for her. I love, love this page so much. So really hope she likes that. Um, now to this other page, you'll see one of my baby pictures. And um, what I did first is I added this trim. It's a really beautiful like beneath trim. And then I added some little cherry blossoms there from I Am Roses. So it's super adorable. Just got it kind of there on the trim. And then this is a beautiful trim that I have too. And so I cut out one of the roses from the trim. It's very shabby cheek. And this little tag here. This is from the paper collection. So all I did is I added a gardenia flower with the sherry blossom. And then there's space there in case my mom wants to add something. And then this is actually a pocket here that I tied around with some seam binding. And this is a picture of my mom and I. And in this picture here, she was teaching me how to walk. So I was very little, you guys. And um, I love, love this picture of, of her and I because it looks very vintage. Like the color itself is like a really dark pink color kind of vintage. And on the inside, I added more of the paper collection. Love this paper so much. Very vintage. And I love the little cheap. Super cute. And then I added another sentiment that says, Thank you for teaching me my first steps. Thank you for guiding my steps to the right path. Thank you for always catching me when I stumble. And thank you for never letting me fall. So I thought this message would go really well with the picture because that to me, this is what this pretty much represents to me. And so I hope that my mom likes it. So there's that. And then this is the next page. Um, this is the letter M. As you can see, there's the M right here. And I added the paper collection again. I distressed the edges with Tim Holtz distressed inks. And I added this uh, baby picture of me and my hot looking pajamas that I was wearing there. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then um, this picture here. So my mom. She looks so beautiful, you guys. Love this picture of her. And I um, added this uh, lace here on the sides and some more of the gardenia petals from I Am Roses with some pearls in the center and some trim. And then there's also some of the baby rose leaves. I love, love those little tiny leaves. Um, on this corner here, I love this because... Um, I used this little envelope by Sizzix. So I cut out one of the flowers by Sack Crafters Trim. And then I added a I Am Roses crochet flower. And then here I added another I Am Roses flower too that I spray with the Lindy's. And then um, more of the Gardenia Petals flowers there. Um, in here there's a stick pin that comes out. And there's a little envelope that I made. And just a little... Um, note here that says role model because that's what she is to me and um i love the little envelope so just kind of stick thing kind of holds it together like that in a corner so there's that page and um over here on the bottom i just added this um sticker letters that says love you forever and um this beautiful spray here by i am roses this is the baby pink um, gardenia spray and I love it. It has like these brown leaves that totally matches the paper collection really well and then also added another crochet flower. So that's what the mini looks like there with the pictures. So um, there's that and this is the next page here. So this one I added a bunch of trims and laces. This is an applique from one of my vintage wedding dresses. And another gardenia flower that I made with I Am Roses petals. And I added this gardenia flower too by I Am Roses. Um, now here there is actually a pocket that I tied with just some vintage lace. And let me go ahead and open it up. So it opens up like this and there's another sentiment that says thank you for the person you helped me to be and thank you for always letting me 
letting me be me. <laughs> so that's a message I wrote there for my mom as well. And on the inside, there's another baby picture of us. So she was very young here, you guys. And um, this is me, and I totally look like a boy, I think. <laughs> it's one of those pictures that I like, oh, I don't know, short hair, totally look like a boy. So, and I left this blank here in case she wants to write down a message. So, that's that pocket. And um, here on the bottom, I added a picture of us now. So, we're much older. <laughs> and um, this is when she came to visit me a couple months ago. So, we were just at a restaurant having fun. And um, I added just some pearl trim here on the side. And there's a little stick, uh, sentiment that comes out. And it says, thank you for teaching me and showing me the meaning of true love. So it kind of goes in there. And I just added some trims on the side. So I really love this page as well. And then finally, this is the last page, you guys. Um, I love these pictures of my mom. This is actually some really old pictures. And this is when she was 15. She had like the quinceañera, which is like a sweet 16 party and she had all of her friends here and this is actually my aunt and I love this picture like the colors and everything it's so shabby cheek vintage totally love it so I added this picture here and on the inside I added another picture from her birthday so this is her and I just thought those pictures will go really well with this paper collection um, over here I added a little pocket that I created using some paper and I also use this beautiful trim lace here from La Viche Laces. She has some really gorgeous trims, so I added that there. And it closes like this. Just added a seam binding bow on the top. And then this beautiful trim here is also from La Viche Laces on the bottom. Really gorgeous. And um, this is a picture of us. So um, here we were going to Pike Market, and it was a beautiful sunny day. So we took a picture, and it's super sunny out and um, I just added some laces and more of the beautiful flower trim and here's another gardenia flower by I am roses and then on here on the side I added this Benice lace and some of the sherry blossoms from I am roses as well just like I did in the other page it's a pretty large book here and um, totally love how it turned out so that's pretty much the mini, you guys. There's all the pages. It's very vintage, shabby chic, and I hope that she likes it. I'm really excited to, to give this to her for Mother's Day. So I will have some pictures and also the products that I use for this mini album on my blog. So you guys can definitely check it out. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please enjoy the pictures. And thank you so much, you guys. Just wanted to share with you guys a little part of my mom and how special she is to me. So thank you, everybody. And for all of the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day, you guys. Bye.